Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-month March readings for all zodiac signs. Now keep in mind, these are general readings, so if they resonate with you, that's great, and if they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the box below. If you would like to have a private reading with me, I do readings within 24 hours of contact. Uh, whether you email me or whether you give me a shout over the phone, we'll set something up and we'll get you done real quick. Also, uh, my mystery healing boxes, they're small, medium, and large boxes. Plus, I have a travel box now, too, in an array of colors, which are absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is an open-faced medium box. And I just had a friend purchase a bunch of them. She likes to put potpourri in them and they look nice on a table, in an office anywhere and they smell nice too. I thought it was a good idea. Smart girl. And also if you want to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video and I coach throughout the whole thing. So if you ever get stuck on anything, I'll be there to help you. All that being said, this reading is going to be for Libra. Let's see what's going on with my leaves in the middle of March 2019. Libra, has something turned around in a friendship, partnership, loveship? Does something need to be rectified? We are in Mercury retrograde right now, which means old things come back, whether they're old situations, old people, you know, anything like that leaves. Because it needs resolution. It needs a solution. That way you can bury it for good and move forward. So, let's get into this, Leaves. Bottom of the deck. Leaves, you have the Emperor. And the Emperor is all about structure, stability, firm foundation. He's king of all kings. He's analytical. He's a realist. But he does things, you know, by the book. He's about respect. Draw the line in the sand. And that's where respect is earned and given. So, Libra, I see how this definitely pertains to your reading here. So, let's get it. We're going to start off with the Gemini card of the lovers. Now, this is a deep connection, a deep bond, soulmate that you have in a friendship, partnership, loveship, careership. Doesn't have to just be, you know, about love here, Libs. And what's crossing you is... The King of Coins, King of Wands. I'm using the Medieval Cat Tarot, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. You could be dealing with an Earth-like person or taking on the qualities of an Earth-like person. Being grounded, not sugarcoating anything, seeing something how it really is. Now, in your foundation, leaves. You have the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is a wish being granted. Emotionally, you know, tickled pink. And whatever this is, friendship, partnership, loveship, careership, you know what I mean? It's like, maybe you felt like it was a wish come true. It was emotionally satisfying. And now, something that has maybe turned into some sort of partnership... In any one of those ships that I mentioned leaves. That the dynamics are turning around. And you need to think long and hard. About this. Ship. Now leaves. Because your crowning card is the hermit. Also known as a Virgo. But this could be isolation. Could be seclusion. It's about taking you know time out. And doing introspection. The hermit's not lonely. 
He likes to be alone. He likes to be able to hear his thoughts and trust his intuition. He's a seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what's true. He finds it out for himself. That way he knows it to be true. But introspection seems to be calling to me strongly here, Leaves. That maybe, you know, something's turning around. What is turning around in this friendship, partnership, loveship? Because you have, in the recent past, you have the Wheel of Fortune. A.K.A. comma. But it's good comma. Things start going away. Things start falling into place. You could even feel like you're on a lucky streak here, Leaves. And it feels like, you know, the, the dynamics of this ship is uh, going well. But going into your future here, Leaves. I oh, got something on the screen. Let's get rid of that. Going into the future... Leaves, you have death. Now, death is the transformation of something. Something changes. Because when the universe sends death in, something has to change. Leaves, when we don't change things ourselves. Now, it's the ending of something, an old way of thinking, an old way of doing things, an old way of, you know, approaching. Any one of those. It doesn't have to be, you know, a physical death. Leaves. And something is going to change here. It's going to transform. Whatever this ship is. And maybe there will be more structure, you know, stability, respect. Someone's feelings could be changing here. Now, Leaves, either this is your energy going out or the energy that you're dealing with coming to you. Because how people see you Leaves, they see you like the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles could be a financial pinch. You know, feeling blocked. Denied just came to my head. I don't know why. Shunned. Outcasted. The outside looking in. Not feeling a part of something. Now, Leaves. You go from, you know, having this connection, this bond with someone. And now, you know, this could be reality. Not sugarcoating something, seeing something. Because something's changing here. In this dynamics. Maybe, you know, somebody feels like you're distant. And they're looking at you, maybe like, why do you want to be by yourself? Now, it could be a financial pinch that makes you feel like you can't enjoy life or whatever. That's for some. But I think that you're feeling on the outs of some sort of relationship. Whether some, whether your point of view of it has changed, you know, or their point of view have changed. But in your environment, Leaves, you have the Seven of Pentacles. And this is the investment card, the taking stock card. You gotta take that pause, Leaves. The introspection. And ask yourself. You put your time, your energy, your love into this situation. Are you getting out of it what you put into it? Is it worth doing? Would you do it again, Leaves? And I think that now that there's some sort of disconnect and you're feeling like you're in the outs. You need to take that time. Say, I put so much into this. Do you really want it at all anymore? In your hopes and fears, Leaves, you have the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is, you know, not expressing yourself. Not voicing your opinion. Leaves if you feel like you're not as close to somebody anymore. You need to speak that. You need to say it. Or the other person needs to say it to you. 
because the outcome card leaves is the nine of swords and that's anxiety being stuck in your head thinking about something over and over and over again so you can't see straight leaves speak your peace speak your mind if you feel like this dynamic is changing and you're feeling like you're not a part of something anymore that you once were speak your mind don't hold it back and don't let your these thoughts run away with your emotions say what's on your mind and put something to rest for good so that is what i have for you Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.